Fantastic news on Thursday afternoon as Altrincham have re-signed James Jones, who uh, departed uh, over two years ago to join Barrow Football Club in the Football League. James, uh, welcome back to uh, the Jay Davidson uh, Stadium. And uh, I think this move has taken everybody a little bit uh, by surprise, but we're all delighted that you're back. But tell us about the circumstances that have led to you rejoining Altrincham Football Club. Um, yeah, so I was uh, obviously, like you say, been with Barrow for the last two years and then I was offered a new contract by them in the summer. Um, but I decided to turn that down. Uh, it's, uh, I was just felt like I was ready for a fresh start and ready for, for something new. Um, and then I spoke to Phil here and we spoke about the possibility of, of coming back. Um, there's a couple of things that we needed to work through and but we've got there um and yeah we've just signed it today uh, i've been in training since monday um and no really really happy to get it done and, and get back here and you you joined altrian football club the phil parkinson and neil sorbel's first uh, season you were the the trialist who came through from the whitchurch alports uh, game which was the very first game under phil mm -hmm. and uh, neil um, and you did really, really well uh, for, for, for three seasons. It was a good uh, stage in your career and obviously enabled you to go on to a football league club. Yeah, I mean, it's it's probably the place where I played my best football. Well, definitely, I think, you know, the three years I had here um, were, uh, you know, I, I loved every minute of it. It was obviously, we had a lot of success, uh, two promotions, FA Cup runs, um, whilst playing really good football. Uh, you felt like you were some, part of something really special. Obviously, when I signed the club, had had back-to-back -back relegations and then the gaffer came in and it was sort of like we started afresh. Uh, and yeah, it was, uh, it, was a, it was a brilliant three years for the club, for me personally. And, and like you say, I was able to, to get my move into the Football League off the back of it. And interestingly enough, you, your career path or your development has been quite similar to Toby Malarkey's because in your first season you played quite a number of games but you weren't an absolute uh, regular but in seasons two and three you were and then ironically it was when you uh, moved on to Barrow that Toby got the opportunity to step up and he's really developed as a player so uh, there's quite a few parallels there. Yeah yeah I think there is I think there is we always knew how good Toby was you know I, I said that to the gaffer when I was leaving I was like well it's not really like you're struggling for centre back now because you've got Toby ready to step in. You know, it was probably unfortunate for Toby the season he signed. It was the season where me and Tom Hannigan had established our partnership and we were playing some of our best football. You know, if that wasn't the case, Toby would have started every week then and, and been done as just as good a job as any of us. Um but no, there are a lot of parallels parallels between us two. But we never managed to play together. Um so hopefully we'll both be able to play our best football and play together. And your last game for Altrincham was the final game of the COVID uh, restricted season, that 4-1 victory against mm. uh, Spennymoor. Really impressive, uh, impressive uh, performance. Um, and it was a difficult uh, time then. We didn't know whether we were going to be playing or not. And unfortunately, your opportunity to become a full-time footballer and move into the Football League came at the time when the playoffs were taking place. Yeah, they did. It, it was really unfortunate and I was quite torn at the time. Obviously, COVID, it was so strange back then and it was really uncertain times. Um, but no, I was really torn on whether to play in the playoffs because I had my own things rumbling on uh, in terms of where I was going to be next season. And uh, I can't remember, was it about a month or two after the season stopped that the playoffs were able to be played? So it was a fair layoff. So I was worried myself about picking up an injury and then, you know, the move that I've worked for for three years wasn't going to come off. Um, and I also knew if I didn't play, the club was being left with Toby to fill in. If, it fa if I felt like it was going to be massively weakened, then that would have been another factor where I probably wouldn't have done it. But the fact it was Toby coming in, you know, I, I was comfortable and, and the gaffer understood my situation. So it is a shame. And I do look back and I wish I was part of that those playoff, that playoff run because I'd played virtually every game up to that point. But it, it was a difficult situation uh, and it is what it is. 
And it was a big move for you because you were jumping from National League North to uh, EFL uh, 2. Uh, so that's a, a big step up for, for any player. But things gone pretty, have gone pretty well for you uh, up in Cumbria. Yeah, I mean, th- there's lots of positives to take from there. You know, I played 50, 60 games, uh, got a lot of football league games under my belt, you know, developed as a footballer, I think, um, and tested myself at a better level, uh, and for the most part did well. Um, it was just, it was a difficult two years, um, not just for me, for everyone. We, You know, we had two relegation fights, it was about six, seven changes in manager, um, lo- lots of things that added into the mix that just made it a really tough two years uh and you know sort of got to a point where I probably wasn't enjoying my football as much as I would want to so I knew it was time for me uh to make a fresh start it's an interesting club uh, Barrow they got back into the football league when probably most people thought they wouldn't ever get back into the football league it was always going to be difficult uh, for them um but having been relegated in 1972 initially um, they're absolutely desperate to stay in the EFL too. Mm-hmm. No, no, definitely. And, and Barrow's a great football club. And I'll always be really grateful to them for the opportunity that they gave me. Um, I think the possibly the issue they've had is, is they got that promotion into the Football League and now everything else is trying to play catch-up around the club. And they're definitely getting there now. Um, and that's probably a place where there was a little bit of an issue in the time they've been in the Football League is everything else catching up. Um but no, Barrow's a really good football club, really passionate, you know, supporters. Um, and, and you know, I did enjoy my time there, but by the end of it, I was uh, I was ready for a, for a new challenge. And Altrincham, we've been very, very stable for five seasons, but of course, with a move to full-time, that's involved a lot of uh, change. So I guess there's only the likes of Jordan Hume, Toby Malarkey, Josh Lundstrom, who are mm. familiar faces to you in terms of your time at Altrincham. Yeah, no, I've just been saying that out there. Um, there's a, it's basically a, a whole, uh, you know, new faces everywhere, uh, massive changes everywhere, but still the core, the core players, the obviously the manager, and this is the first time I've I've come down to the club uh, since I've just signed now. So I'm seeing a lot of people uh, from when I was here p- previously, and it does feel a little bit like coming home. You know, this is where I've enjoyed my football the most, played my best football. It's uh, it's a really, really well-run club with really good people around it and uh, it's really good to be back. And in terms of playing in the Football League, um, was the standard what you expected? Yeah, it was probably more direct than what I was thinking. Uh, stepping up, so it was National League North. I was thinking there's probably going to be a bit more football play than what there is. It's a very, uh, it's very direct, physical, lots, lots of teams playing for mistakes just stay solid and play for mistakes which which is that is what it is but this is obviously the football that that I enjoy is the football that Phil plays where it's a lot more expressive uh it's get it down and pass it um so it it's tough it is tough the football league um but but no and you scored a goal in a, an epic game at uh, Oakwell against Barnsley in the FA Cup. Was that was that the highlight of your time up at Holker Street? Yeah, possibly. That was probably one. Of, I mean, it's funny to say that when we lost the game, <laughs> uh, but it was one of the the better memories. With the circumstances, I think we were we were two 0 down and down to ten men after about twenty thirty minutes away to a Championship club. So you're sort of looking around and thinking, let's not let it get embarrassing, lads. Let's <laughs> not not let it go five, six, seven. Um, and we just found a spark in the second half and goals started going in and crazy, crazy game of football. Uh, I think it, they won 5-4 in the end in extra time where we were just out on our feet. But but no scoring a goal there in the in the FA Cup third round is, is obviously a, a nice memory to look back on. And from what you've seen of uh, National League uh, football, does it look to you like there's a little bit more football played in it? I would say so. I think probably the big difference between the National League and League 2 is that the National League probably has the, the top eight clubs would probably be more than comfortable in League Two, probably even top half League Two sides. I mean, a lot of them pay more money than the League Two teams do, so you would expect that. But then there's probably a bigger drop off in the National League from the rest of the clubs, whereas in League Two, every team every week is 
serious, serious competition as possibly in the National League. The gap from the top to the bottom is probably a little bit bigger from what I've seen. And finally, James, what what are the the main differences personally to playing, having a job and playing semi-pro football to then becoming a full-time professional? Well, I mean, being a full-time professional is what sort of everyone sets out to do as a young lad. You know, all the lads who are playing football at academies and playing for their local teams, they all have that dream of, of being full-time and hoping it materialises. Um, and when you get there, you know, you want to hang on to it and, and keep yourself in there. Um, obviously, people have different reasons for being part-time or full-time. It's it's personal what, what suits those individuals. But as a young lad who, who was desperate to be a footballer, it's uh you know it's it's where i want to be it's what i've always worked for um so no i i, I love it that's the thoughts of uh Altrincham <laughs> central defender james jones who's rejoined the club having spent three seasons uh with Altrincham between 2017 and 2020 and looking forward to the start of the national league season on the 6th of august <laughs>